evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday, the 28th of January, and I'm Curtis Moore. In our headlines, Nevis Cricket Association elections set for next week, and in our feature for this evening, Swimming Instructors Training Program concludes. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. Here are your Horses Value Mart IGA Value Club Blue Tag Specials from January 17th through 30th. Red Globe Grapes, $9.99 per pound. Blue Bunny Premium Ice Cream, just $19.99. Sunny Delight Original and Smooth, $5.99. Keebler Pie Crust, $8.99 each. Hefty One Zip Freezer or Storage Bags, 12 to 35 pounds, $10.99 each. Malto Meal Cereals, 26 to 30 ounces, $8.99. Essential Everyday Roasted Peanuts, $9.99. Essential Everyday Yogurts, just $2.55. IGA Salt, plain or iodized, is just $2.49. Shop Smart, Shop Value Mart. Sea listo y haga sus compras a Value Mart. When I'm back and we start with cricket, here's a notice from the Nevis Cricket Association. The Nevis Cricket Association will host its annual general meeting on Wednesday, the 5th of February at the Nevis Credit Union Conference Room, beginning at 5 p.m. All cricket teams and clubs are kindly asked to send at least two representatives to the meeting. Meanwhile, further afield, the Leeward Islands Hurricanes totally outclassed the Windward's Volcanoes in the third round match of the regional cricket season. Sheena Berridge sneered 5 for 22 from 10 overs, and the Hurricanes swiftly dispatched the Volcanoes, dismissing them for their second lowest total of all time in the championship. Western is off spinner Rakim Cornwall grabbed the 2 for 7 from 6 overs, and Western is pacer Alzari Joseph supported with 2 for 11 from 10, earning Hurricanes their biggest win and innings and 165 runs against the Volcanoes. Summarized scores, Windwards 138 all out, Devon Smith 49, Alec Athanes 23, Azari Joseph 5 for 41, Sheena Berridge 4 for 39, Quinton Boatrain 1 for 39, Leewards 354 for 8 declared, Kyron Powell 69, Azari Joseph 64, Jason Peters 57, Amir Django 51, Rakim Cornwall 37, Sherman Lewis 3 for 80, Preston Max Sween, 2 for 68, Josh Thomas, 2 for 88, Windwards, 51 all out, Emmanuel Stewart, 11, the top scorer, Sheena Burge, 5 for 22, Rakim Cornwall, 2 for 7, and Aljari, Alzari Joseph, 2 for 11. The Leewards won by an innings and 165 runs. The next round of matches begin on February the 6th, going up to the 9th, Jaguars versus the Scorpions in Guyana. Hurricanes versus the Pride right there at Warner Park in Simkits. So that's Barbados versus Lewis at Warner Park in Simkits. And Volcanoes versus Red Force in Dominica. We go to break and when I come back we'll have our feature for this evening. This one is going out to the land of my birth, Green City, Nevis. One of the few places that has an untouched beauty that has captivated the hearts of many. Nevis is everything you imagine. Welcome back and tonight swimming is in the spotlight. An intense one-week training course geared to local swimming instructors concluded at the Orly Beach Hotel on Saturday, 25th of January. Ably chairing the proceedings was Terry Andrews. Thanks to Swain Evelyn, we get these precious moments. Uh, this has been incredible. It's been a long, long week and this is a kind of a crazy idea that started uh, last fall. Uh, just thinking that we know that we have this need to not only for water safety, but to increase our swimming skills so that we can enjoy this beautiful island where we live. 
So I sat down with a couple of people and thought, um, how can we make this happen? And it was the most amazing uh, collaborative effort I've ever seen and, and, uh, in recent memory, for sure. So it was a collaborative effort between the uh, St. Kitts and Nevis Swimming uh, Federation, Department of Sport, which this just would not have happened without Jameer Claxton. I can't thank him enough. <laughs> Department of Youth. We've got Red Cross on board. We've got Nevis Special Olympics, uh, Sail to a Brighter Future. Again, Carolyn and Charles Wood, I wouldn't, you know, this was amazing. Could not have done this without all your help. <laughs> we also have one of my favorite supporters and, and sponsors, which is the Four Seasons Homeowners Foundation, which is a huge supporter of uh, my efforts with Special Olympics, but has come on board uh, to turn this truly into a collaborative effort. And then last but not least, the, the Nevis Yacht Club. I mean, wow. Uh, the idea that we can share this beautiful facility here uh, to uh, move towards our, 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 our common purposes, which basically surround, our, you know, are surrounded by swimming. So again, huge collaborative effort, and uh, I can't thank everybody enough. Uh, we know that we have this need to know how to swim here. Uh, we have way too many people deathly afraid of the, of the water. We have way too many drownings. Uh, we have way too many missed opportunities in work and business because we don't have proper water skills. And in order to do that, we need to increase our number of instructors. You know, we are a small community. We don't have critical mass, so it's been very difficult. So we set out to make this swim to win our little motto here, our logo, <clears throat> to be, this is the year to conquer your fear. So I don't care who you are, anyone from a child, six years old, up to 106 years old, we need to get you in the water. We wanna keep you safe. And in order to do that, we have created a, a pool of qualified instructors so that you will be safe in the water and you will learn how to have fun. So this is all about fun, fitness and uh, family time, time on the beaches. And in order to do that, we brought in this amazing uh, friend of mine, almost like a sister now, Anne McClendon, who I'd like to have come up for just a moment. <laughs> Anne and I first met um, with Special Olympics, basically. I went up to uh, SO Florida to learn about open water swimming because we do not have a pool here yet. Uh, and so I needed to get my athletes swimming and we have an ocean. So I went up to learn about open water swimming. I was scared to death. I sat in Anne's, uh, Anne's workshop and uh, then we went out to go in the water and I, I wasn't getting in that water, there's no way. And uh, Anne saw that on me and in me and uh, she got me out there conquered my fear, and now I swim easily with our SO athletes. So it is possible for anyone. If I can do it, yeah. anyone can do it. So I thank you from the bottom of our hearts, okay? Uh, and this is just the amazing Anne McClendon, okay? And all that she's done for us. I'm truly elated to be here this afternoon. As Terry would have mentioned, this started with just a conversation, but we believed we believed, and that's why we are here this afternoon, we believe that by coming together, Red Cross, Special Olympics, the Swimming Federation, the Four Seasons Homers Own Foundation, the Department of Sports, we believe that if we pulled our resources, we'll be able to deliver a product that will be beneficial to Nevis for the long term. And so that's why we're here this afternoon. I would also like to thank the instructors who stayed committed throughout the week. As we would have encountered some issues with the weather, but, and this is not something that normally happens in Nevis, that wasn't, that wasn't an excuse for them. They stayed committed throughout the week, and I think we should give them a round of applause. <laughs> this is just the beginning stage of what we hope to achieve, as I mentioned, and this is the grassroots of this entire program. The idea is that we're gonna grow this program to become one of the best programs in Nevis. And to grow this program, of course, we need participants, we need investment, we need persons to commit long-term to this. And also we need persons to lead from the top. And as such, Red Cross being one of our partners, I would like to call on Georgette Hanley 
to come and officially commit herself to this program. She's been leading from the top. So today, she's officially signing up for Swim to Win. Yes, yes, that's so true. And Red Cross, we will be leading from the top. Before I do the official handover of the registration form, I want to say how delighted we are to be a part of this program and to be a part of this idea. I think Terry said it was a silly idea or something, but I think it was an awesome idea. Swim to win. And when we heard the details, we realized that it was not just swim to win, it was taking care of a whole package. It looked at the physical needs, it looked at the training needs, and it looked, also looked at the social needs because there's, some, there's an element there for, um, for family time and fun time. So it's a whole package which we really, really appreciate because it is so wholesome. It would attract a lot of persons. I also want to say that I'm glad that this is happening because the Red Cross is started, has started. That's our main goal, to get the fear out of, of water, out of people, so that people would not be afraid of the seas because we have beautiful ocean, but then most of us who live here, we do not use it. And I am excited too because I am going to be a part of the swim to win. I am going to be, <laughs> I am going to be going into the water without fear, and next I'm going to be coming out like a champ. <laughs> This is the official part now. I have my hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm actually signing up today. They can't yeah. say no, I've paid my money. I am happy to be here. I was here at the opening and I'm delighted to be here for the closing. And I have to say, um, Mrs. Hanley, I'm happy that you didn't trust, you paid. <laughs> All right, you paid, right? And once you paid, I know you will learn. All right, well, I just want to applaud, I'll be very brief, I just want to applaud all of our partners. Of course, as an administration, we like to partner because there's nothing we can do on our own. And so we are delighted that we would have had these partners for this very important um, initiative, the Swim to Win. I was here on Sunday for the launch, I was here yesterday um, to observe what has been happening and I love the energy and I love the enthusiasm that I saw displayed with our swim instructors and I believe that will be translated once the training sessions begin next Sunday. So I want to applaud all who have been involved, I want to applaud the partners, I want to say thank you very much on behalf of the Ministry of Sport and I want to continue to commend Jamie and his team at the Department of Sports for doing a marvelous job. I believe this is a program that will work wonders for Nevis. And as the Department of Sports, I believe this is a program that has a lot of potential to see a lot more um, competition where sports is concerned. So once again, congratulations to all who have been involved. And this program, this initiative, Swim to Win, continues to have the full support of my ministry. Thank you very much and God bless. can see it definitely takes a village but this is just the beginning um, this pool of instructors with Ann coming this trip was their level one training uh, this is all volunteer all these guys are volunteering their time they have committed to come out every Sunday 
to teach you how to swim, to get you safe in the water. This is community driven, this is grassroots driven. So they're here for fun, fitness, and family time. So these guys are gonna keep you safe, okay? Guys and ladies, I'm sorry. Uh, we are developing this pool. This is their level one. Uh, Anne will be returning the uh, end of March to come back and we'll do a level two and water safety certification for this, these, uh, this pool of, of instructors. At that point, then they can move into uh, positions that are compensated. So this gives job opportunities to them. And we'll come back again. Uh, we have a commitment from Department of Sports and all of our group of, of, uh, of sponsors to bring Ann back again in the summer. Uh, at which time we will take it up to a level three and then work towards getting those interested instructors to get their FINA certification. FINA is the governing body of uh, swimming throughout the world and with a FINA certification then they have opportunities to travel as, um, as officials uh, around the world and, and, and opens up all sorts of other opportunities to them. Thank you, Swain. That's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.